today on the channel from the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian, we got the Deluxe Edition Dark Trooper. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Black Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got the Deluxe Edition from The Mandalorian. We've got the Dark Trooper. But remember, for all your Star Wars Black Series needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So the Dark Trooper is here and he is a deluxe figure. Uh, interesting times as we know over the last year or two with Star Wars Black Series and what is and what is not a deluxe figure. Uh, there's recently a new Mandalorian uh, with Grogu and then that like spider creature, whatever that thing was called. Uh, I can't even pronounce it, I don't think. But uh, it's $38.99. I see it at all my targets and I just am offended by that price. Totally offended as that is a Mandalorian figure we basically received numerous times. Uh, Grogu, not a whole lot of differences there. That creature, a little bit different. But there's no way anyone can justify that $38.99 price point on that. This one, luckily, $31.99 at Target. $31.99, maybe something like that at Big Bad Toy Store, of course. That's where I did get this guy from. Uh, but $38.99, no way is that going to work on a Star Wars Deluxe series. We saw Saw Gerrera. He's went down to under $10 in some eras areas as a black series figure of course uh, i gotta think that mandalorian one is going to drop like a rock as well because i have about five targets i hit in just a couple of days every single store was packed out on those not one had moved i went back to those stores a couple days later still not a one has moved of course you'll sell a couple but there's going to be some deals to be had on that one and that's why i'm going to swoop in because there's no way i'm paying 30 dollars or above for that mandalorian figure it's just not going to happen but Dark Trooper, on the other hand, Kyle will pay $31.99 for this Dark Trooper. Of course, an army builder, an expensive army builder. I might play a little long game, get the second one at a discount or a sale, one of those target sales where, you know, like this week, currently as I'm filming this, uh, it is spend 50, get 10 off, spend 100, get 25. Sometimes you need one more figure to get you over the hump. That's where this guy might come in down the road and get a second one of him, but we'll see what happens. But one thing for certain, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's look at that old Dark Trooper. Even this one, he is a little bit bigger than your average Stormtrooper or whatever. It just doesn't fill out the box very well. Very, very simplistic. Not a lot of accessories going on. We do get extra hands, you can see, which is fairly rare for Star Wars. He is number 28 in the Mandalorian figure line. Of course, we know uh, the orange band being Mandal Mandalorian-style figures. Star Wars Black Series up there at the top. Nothing too fun there. A little glamour shot. You can complete that whole mural on this side, of course. And on the back, thankfully, we still have a blurb for now. We got the warnings, UPCs, we got all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about the Dark Trooper. Hulking Imperial Combat Droids. With gleaming black armor and powerful jet boots, the Dark Troopers are a powerful design. And that was quite the show in The Mandalorian, of course. Uh, that fateful episode with these guys. One of the better episodes, I think, of the series. See you later. And a lot of good episodes in this series, as we know. The Mandalorian is a very good show. If you haven't seen it, check it out. There it is. A very dark trooper there, all in black. He's not messing around. He's like a young ACDC. He's back in black. We're going to get these accessories out. There it is. These little, little small hands. And they are taped in, of course. Why wouldn't they be? And fall there. Uh, this is one of those ones I can see people losing accessory pieces for all day. can definitely see that. Pop them out. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. Accessories. See you later. Goodbye. And then Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's break it down. We'll put him off to the side. Let's look at these accessories first. We get two hands. And that's a very rare treat with the Star Wars Black Series. Very rarely do we get extra hands. Every once in a blue moon... Got two Fists of Fury for this Dark Trooper. He's going to throw some Rock'em Sock'em Robot Fists, apparently. Uh, over here, we got two Gripping Hands. got two Fisted Hands. An interesting accessory for this guy. So uh, if you do have multiples, you can mix it up. We know how that goes. You do get blaster effects here. You get two of them. Nice blaster colors. Do these fit where? In his feet? They do fit right there in his feet. So you can have them kind of flying through if you need to. Uh, you do get the blaster effects for the feet. Nice blast effects. I am not 100% sure if this is the first time we've seen them. I don't recall seeing these before, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're uh, first time in the line either. But definitely look good. Got the orange 
uh, two shades of orange to make it look really, really fiery, really fiery. Then you get down to the weapon, and once again, I feel like this is a first time in the line uh, blaster pistol here. Man, I got some nice warpage on this one, so I could heat it up, try to get this back in place, but some warpage all over this guy. Of course, all black, all one color. Beautiful sculpt to this. I guess you got one little silver spot there. Uh, not a whole lot, but it is uh, just your by numbers dark trooper weapon. We saw this in the series as well. So good to have a weapon with these guys. Now we break it down to the old dark trooper here. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into with this one. So it is uh, a droid, of course, an interesting one. A very, very high gloss feel on this one. Uh, but it feels a little bit interesting. And his belt is really bothering me off the bat here. As his belt is kind of off to the side. A little bit sideways. There we go. Got that up. So you can move this belt around if you are so inclined. I don't really like that. I don't know why you need to be able to move that belt. But uh, you can. So I got to get him straightened up a little bit. He's just a little bit all over the place. Yeah, I don't like that. It just really drives me nuts. It's just not straight on with that belt. Uh, but let's break this guy down. Let's start with the articulation. Uh, we do get these shoulder pads, so those do get in the way of your arm articulation, but your arms can go out. You can pull them around. Big ball joint here up there at the arm. You do get elbows. It doesn't look like they're double jointed, single jointed, which is fine here. Uh, you do get the hands that are removable, hands up and down. Uh, trigger finger here. Of course, you're going to have them with his weapon. You got to. Uh, you do get this overlay, which is not removable, but it is an overlay over the top of the body. Very Darth Vader-like, I guess you would say, uh, as far as the overlay. Got the big shoulder pads, got kind of the computer graphics right there in the middle. Uh, feels like you can punch him up. Uh, maybe you can uh, get an order from McDonald's out of him. Who knows? Uh, you do have the big Dark Trooper head, very mean mug and helmet. Nice gloss throughout in this whole figure. A nice reflective shine even on this figure. You can't miss these red eyes. It's like uh, death staring you in the face there. So obviously a death trooper. So I guess it makes sense. Head does go all the way around if you need to. You get up and down. Nothing limiting the articulation there. You can even get a pile driver back and forth on that head. So good head mobility. You do get the big waist articulation. You can do those big old robot splits if you need him to. No thigh cut on him. But you do get the legs which can go side to side. Nice big ball there. Uh, you get the single jointed knees, and then you get the ankles back and forth. Ankles are a little looser than I would like on this guy, though. Very, very loose ankles. Uh, definitely an interesting one, and one you can really get a lot of fingerprints on as well. It's got that nice gloss to it. It looks like you just got wax, like uh, you're taking your Jeep to the, sh to the shop, and they're giving it a nice wax job. It's kind of how this feels, and you get a little uh, fingerprints on it. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Man, he fits like a glove, so you can always put him on there. Very, very cool. I like the silver accent colors on the guts and then, of course, on all the joints. Really breaks up the blackness to him. It's just so dark. And then, of course, the red also breaks that up. My biggest gripe right now is this belt. I'm going to have to figure out the sweet spot on that. So uh, it is a little bit weird. It does ride up on one side and down on the other. So I'd like to really get it straight, look a little bit more uniform. Because when that's off, it makes this whole body and everything feel like it is off. But that could just be my issue on mine. Uh, choose your own adventure on your issues. It depends, uh, I'm sure, figure by figure. Let's do a little comparison here. Of course, we've got the Mandalorian. Put him side by side against that Mandalorian. You can see he is much, much bigger, a larger character. Uh, a formidable opponent, of course. You know, he threw a little fire at this guy. He did all kinds of stuff. It took a certain Skywalker to come in and uh, show these Dark Troopers really who was boss at the end of the day. Uh, but an interesting one. I like this. I like the army builder aspect of it. I don't care for the price point. None of us really do. And I guess I'm a little bit more agitated in my Star Wars price points for whatever reason. Maybe it's the more limited articulation compared to the other lines. Uh, some of the just insane price points. And Star Wars, like a lot of these companies, they all get the most out of their molds. But Star Wars seems to milk a mold more than anybody else over year after year after year. It just feels like we need to get a bone thrown our way every once in a while. And the distribution and things and some of the release dates, they're just a little bit more disorganized than your Mattels and your other Hasbro lines. At least from where I sit, as you guys know, right here at the table. So it's a little bit of a frustrating time. Uh, Star Wars, not my prime collector. Uh, that's not my prime collection. Of course, I collect Star Wars stuff, but it's not my number one go-to collection. So maybe that has a little bit to do with it as well. It just seems like they're making it very hard to be a Star Wars collector right now. And when I say they, I mean Hasbro. 
Maybe that's just me. You guys can sound off on that in the comments down below. But for what this Dark Trooper is, I do like it. I will get another one, but I'll play a little bit of that long game to pick him up. But I'm here for stuff like this, some new molds, some new bigger figures. That's preaching to the choir here with something like this. So when you do this as a deluxe, that feels good. But when you give me this with a little few more accessories and then charge, try to charge $8 more than this, that doesn't feel so hot. So that's where I sit, as you guys know, here at this table. But let's say you, you guys in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this Dark Trooper. Let me know your thoughts on the Star Wars Black Series line current day as we're filming this. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Of course, we got videos every single day and then some. So you don't want to miss a video. Hit that notification bell. And then, of course, subscribe to the Patreon. Link in the description below where you can get access to this video much, much earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content giveaways, uh, Q&As, you name it, a lot going on over there at the Patreon. Uh, you can also support the channel by being a member of the Patreon, and you can support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, picking up a t-shirt, and don't forget to follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the darkest trooper, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.